The marine organism we're going to identify now is the blue angelfish. The blue angelfish is obviously a member of the angelfish family of fishes. It is nearly entirely a pale blue to blue-green color with just a little yellow on the trailing edge of its fins. It is sometimes confused with the queen angelfish, but the blue angelfish's colors are more muted than that of the queen's, and the blue angelfish lacks the queen angelfish's crown on the top of its head. There is another species of angelfish which looks like a cross between a blue and a queen, as it is mostly pale blue but has a muted crown. This is the Townsend angelfish, which is a hybrid formed when a blue angel and a queen angel interbreed. Blue angelfish range in size from 8 to 18 inches, with most about 14 inches long or shorter. Juvenile blue angelfish are difficult to distinguish from juvenile queen angelfish. Both juvenile species have beautifully colored bright blue and yellow bodies with several, usually three, electric blue vertical bands on the sides of their bodies. The distinguishing characteristic that identifies the blue angelfish juvenile is that the middle bright blue bar is straight, whereas the queen angelfish's middle bar is clearly curved. Juvenile blue angelfish can often be found at fish cleaning stations where they feed off parasites found on other fish. Blue angelfish can be found primarily in the waters around the Florida coast, in the Bahamas, and around Bermuda. It's rare to see them in the Caribbean. In fact, I have only ever seen them in Florida and the Bahamas. They inhabit rocky areas and coral reefs and are generally found at depths shallower than 80 feet. Blue angelfish feed primarily on sponges. In fact, one reference states that 95% of their diet is sponges. The small remainder consists of algae, coral polyps, and tunicates. Blue angelfish, like all angelfish, are pelagic spawners. This means that the male and female release their sperm and eggs into the water column in close proximity to one another, where the eggs become fertilized. The eggs are buoyant, so they float to the surface, where they drift as part of the marine plankton pool until the fry hatch. As a result, many of the eggs are lost as they are consumed by planktonic feeders of various types. That's the blue angelfish.